I think where we agree is that education is a civil right, and it is about social justice. On the other hand, um, there are a couple of things that you said that maybe you can elaborate a little bit on. Uh, one of them is evidence-based um, and the discussion on evidence, where we know there is no measurable tool right now that measures students overcoming adversity. Students who um, overcome language proficiency, students who overcome poverty, there is no test that can measure that as it relates to student success. Moreover, there is no research at the present time. In fact, the latest Stanford research talked about how charter schools do not do better than public schools. So if we could talk a little bit about that. And my last question would be on the role of evidence base and research as it relates to performance pay, since we know there is no research that talks about that improving the quality of teaching either. Um, the, the issue around how do we measure or evaluate how children overcome co poverty, there'll never be a test for that. We know that, there's no, there's no test for that. I will tell you, having spent a lifetime working in uh, very poor communities, not just uh, in Chicago, but in Australia, a couple things matter tremendously. Uh, more time for children, they desperately need more time. Uh, six hours a day, five days a week, nine months of the year does not cut it. I worry desperately about summer reading loss. We all know children, when we get to a certain point in June, they come back to us in September, they're further behind than when they left. That's a heartbreaking thing. So we have to think very differently. And I'm talking about schools being open 12, 13, 14 hours a day, six, seven days out of the week, 11, 12 months out of the year. The schools have to become the centers of the community. 